Good morning, guys. Tony Maritato here. Let's talk about icing, ice machines, ice packs, or nothing at all after a total knee replacement. So I've got several videos already recorded on the channel, but a question came in in our Facebook group asking if it was worth purchasing or renting an ice machine after a total knee replacement surgery. Now, I would tell you, like I say in most cases, it depends on you. There are patients who love the sensation of cold, patients who love the sensation of icing, while there are other patients who absolutely cannot tolerate the experience of putting something cold on their skin. So I've known patients that do really well using a heating pad or moist heat on the thigh or the calf because a lot of times there's secondary pain problems going on in the regions above and below the knee replacement. I know that there are some surgeons that are very adamantly against using anything except ice and they require their patients to perform icing multiple times a day. That's great, that's their prerogative, but I can tell you that working with hundreds of patients over many years, I've seen just about every scenario do well. So if you know that you enjoy the experience of cold or icing, and you, you have the means or the resources to get an ice machine, sometimes they are covered by insurance, uh, absolutely go ahead and request it. But I would never want you to feel like you're not going to recover as well if you don't use cryotherapy or an ice machine. I've got a lot of patients that purchase the Chattanooga Ice uh, Cool Pack is the brand. It's an ice pack. It's a very soft, compliant, no matter how cold it gets, it never gets hard. It's my favorite ice pack. It's the one we use in the clinic when patients request it but they like that better than an ice machine because they don't have to have electricity, they don't have to fill it with water, they don't have to plug it in, and they don't have all the cumbersome connections and cables. So if you like cold, feel free to use an ice machine, feel free to use an ice pack, feel free to go old school, get a Ziploc bag, a little bit of water, a little bit of crushed ice, and place it either between a pillowcase or directly on the skin. There's a lot of misconceptions out there about getting frostbite. Unless you have any kind of skin sensitivity or healing issues, most people can tolerate ice on the skin without causing any damage. But of course, you always wanna consult with your physical therapist or your doctor. My intention here is to say there is no right or wrong answer for everybody. You have to see what works for you, what makes you feel better, and the most important thing is that you can feel confident in what you're doing so that you can move more. Movement will improve the healing process and get you back to get you back to life, get you back to doing the things that you enjoy. I'll catch you guys on the next video.